The Documentary of Evolution of Communication by Tara Brennan, Fimber Foy, and Hannah Sugru. The Beginning of Communication. At the beginning of time, ancient time, also known as ancient times, cavemen used cave walls to communicate with each other and send messages and signals to each other. They would mostly draw paintings on caves to communicate and would use things like juice of fruits, berries, and colored minerals or animal blood to paint. Sometimes they would also talk or make sounds, dance, act, and use sim symbols. They would also use grunting sounds at a high or low pitch that would indicate either social communication or be a warning. And here are some symbols that they will use. Smoke signal. After a while, real languages started to form and the need for long distance communication grew. First used in 200 BC to send messages along the Great Wall of China, in 150 BC, Greek historians Polybus devised a system of smoke signals that were a visual representation of the alphabet. North American indigenous people also communicated via smoke signals. Each tribe had its own signaling system and understanding on the plains and smoke signals could be visible as far as 50 miles. Messenger pigeons. Messenger pigeons were used as early as 1150 in Baghdad, and also later, also later by Ngs Khan. Pigeons were effective as messengers due to their natural homing abilities. These pigeons were transported to a destination in cages, where they would be attached with messages. The pigeons would naturally fly back to its home where the recipient could read the message. Homing pigeons have been known to find their way home from as many as 1,100 miles away and can travel an average of 50 miles per hour with a burst of up to 90 miles per hour. The Pony Express. In 1633, the official notice of a postal service in the colonies appeared. The General Court of Massachusetts designed Richard Fairbanks, a tavern in Boston, as the official site of mail delivery to go to going to or coming from overseas, a practice long by Eng England. The first ride of the Pony Express on April 3rd, 1860, was reported by newspapers across the country. The first Malika of mail included a letter from press. The Telegraph. The Telegraph was de developed in 1830s and 1840s by Samuel Morse. It would work by transmitting electric signals over a wire that laid between stations. It was used by Morse code, which was also founded by Samuel Morse. Morse code is a series of dots and dashes each for each letter of the alphabet that would allow in a simpler form of transmitting complicated messages across telegraph lines. The first use of telegraph was in 1844 from Washington DC to Bar Baltimore, Maryland. And by 1866, there was a telegraph line going across the Atlantic Ocean from the U.S. to Europe. The telegraph was really revolutionized long-term communication. The radio. Radios were invented in 1895 by Guglielmo Marconi, an Italian inventor. He sent and received his first radio signal in Italy, 1895. By 1899, he flashed the first wireless signal across the English Channel and two years later received the letter S. Radio waves were, identif were first identified and studied by a German physicist Hendricks read in 1886. And Radio began to be used commercially around 
the 1900s. Radios are a very important part of history and our lives today and are still used often today in places like cars, workplaces, and many more. Radios are so important because they can send immediate requests of medical responses, alert soldiers in danger, and rescue operations. Because when things don't go as planned, communication is vital. The radio has saved so many lives, and the radio has played a big part in World War II, so we don't even know where we would be without it. Letters. In 1633, the first official notice of the postal service started in the colonies, which was established in 1775. Franklin put in place the foundation for many aspects of mail today. Letters are a big part in history and was a ma main way of communication before technology, and almost everyone sent letters to talk. Letters aren't used as much today as they were before technology, but it's still used a good bit and is a good way for people to communicate, like for people with loved ones fighting in wars, which is effective and good way to communicate. Telephone. Telephones made it easier for businesses to communicate with each other. It cut down the amount of time it took to send messages to each other. The telephone revolutionized the way people communicated with each other. Many businesses benefited from the advancements in communication. With the invention of the telephone, people could communicate very quickly from great distances. Alexander Gumbel was rewarded the first US patient for the invention of the telephone. And the telephone is, a gr is still used today and is a very good way of communicating. The newspaper. The newspaper was invented in September 25, 1690, and was printed by Richard Pierce and edited by Benjamin Harris in Boston. Newspapers provided news about a country's economic situation, sports, games, entertainment, trade, and commerce. The newspaper was most popular in the 19th century and it's still used today but not as popular or bought as much because people mostly read news off their phones nowadays but it's still a big part of communication and a big part of history and spreading news. Television, an electronic system of transmitting transit images of fixed or moving objects together with sound over a wire or through space by an apparent that converts lights and sounds into electric waves that converts them into visible rays and audible sounds. Electronic television was first successfully demonstrated in San Francisco on September 7, 1927. The system designed by Thelio Taylor Fransworth, a 21-year-old inventor who had lived in a house without electricity till he was 14. Televisions are still used today and a big part of history and everyone's life today. Internet. The internet is a big part of almost everyone's life today and has a big role in life today and is the main way almost everyone communicates. The internet was invented January 1st, 1983 by, com by computer scientists Vinton Cerf and Bob Kahn. The internet can be used for many things. Communication is a big one, and news getting around to many people is another way it is used. People often just read the news off their phone now, while it is a big part of communication and alerting people what is going on. The internet has evolved a lot since it first was made and get more technical every day and faster every day, and people use it more to communicate every day. Social media. Social media is a big way most teenagers and some parents communicate. Apps like Snapchat, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and many more are main ways teenagers communicate and express their feelings and thoughts. Social media was made in the early 2000s and grows in popularity every day. As of 2021, the number of people using social media is over 3.9 billion worldwide. Also on average, more than 1.3 new million new users join social media every day during 2020. 
equating to roughly 15 and a half new viewers every single second. This shows how big of an impact social media has on people and how much people use it every day. And all social media is a big way of communication today and may even be the biggest. This is a video about evolution. And these are the most of the credits where we got most of our information. And I hope you enjoyed this documentary about the evolution of technology and communication.